Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to not quite subsistence land. It's actually uh, subsistence alpha update 60 land. Look at that, December 9th, it's dropped. And uh, we're going to take a look at the release notes to see what the... Because I'm not going to be able to build everything in in the in today's episode it's gonna it's gonna take a while this thing is uh it's you'll see the requirements are are quite extensive um i've taken a quick look but uh, let's just yeah let's just go through them so vehicle construction bay right so it it basically this is all about the atv so of course we need to be able to build it and uh the vehicle construction bay can be, uh, vehicle construction bay can now be crafted in the bcu uh, this placeable unit is used to construct, maintain, upgrade, and manage vehicles. It must be placed within the range of a BC or a range extender to provide power. This is kind of expected. But look at that. It's got a little platform, and it's got a little arm, and then it's sort of doing a zzz zzz thing, and it's building. That's uh, kind of awesome. And then to build it, it's, oh, there's some new bits. Look at that. 20 of these who's and what's it's and, and two of these thingamajigs. Uh, we got alloy sheets and electronic. Those parts we're familiar with, but this is new, and that's where... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of grinding, and there's going to be a lot of materials that we're going to need to be able to make these, from what I understand. Um, 2,500. Okay, so this is within our means to make 2,500 power and th uh, 350 mass. So we can do this right away. Well, other than the materials, I should say. Uh, vehicle construction itself. Uh, there is uh, currently one type of vehicle that can be constructed. The uh, the ATV players must construct the vehicle in stages, each stage requiring the previous stage to be completed before the con before continuing to the next. So you have to do it in a sequence of events. And it looks like there's the vehicle type. And then you start here, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's what that means. And then for each piece, it has what is needed to be made. So that's kind of cool. And then you can see that here's, here's uh, an example where there's been a progression. Um, these three pieces have been made. Now the body work, I guess, the sort of the escutcheon or whatever you want to call it, uh, has to be done. And it's 25% complete. I don't know what this gear is. We'll, we'll, I suppose we'll find out eventually. Um, it looks like it's, that's where the progress, that's the check mark saying it's done. This is probably in progress. Uh, unlike many other powered crafting items, vehicle storage stages require no upfront power. Instead, they consume power throughout each construction stage. And look at that, you can resume it. So this is, this is the progression. And this is, this is what I'd heard about this. You, you, you don't do it all in one shot. You can start and stop. Um, it says a minimum of 500 power is required for construction. So if the power level drops below 500, it will pause. Thank you, Cold Games. That will prevent us from tanking our base and, and causing the fridge to shut off. <laughs> uh, construction can be resumed by clicking on the current stage, and resume button will show. There we go. That's what that is right there. In addition, construction can be manually paused at any time uh, using the same process. So you can... You could build, like, you can come in and say, okay, I want to build 25% of something. So you, you, you fire it up for 25% of the time, and then you stop. And, uh, ah, see, this is interesting. Look at this. Like, this is the, this is the base, the, the base, this, this vehicle construction bay is in a base that has 3,000 power and 300 mass, which means, and that's less than what I have. So, uh, that is how you can use a smaller base uh, at least capacity as far as power and mass is concerned to build you just do it in in chunks so that's that's really kind of cool i like that that's nice um the dimensions of the vcb is a two by uh two by 1.5 foundation uh is two by one oh, foundation widths and can be snapped to existing building pieces so that's building pieces that's not foundation so you could presumably snap it to like a ceiling piece which is interesting for my particular use case, and we'll get into that. But um, it looks like everything else is stock standard stuff. Here's a light switch, regular walls, regular ceiling, you know, all upgraded, of course. Now, this is a bit different, this, this uh, door. It is a separate item, and it's new. Uh, but it's one and a half. This is uh, one. I think it's one and a half width and then two length, I'm guessing, by the looks of it. Uh, the ATV itself uh, provides uh, players with a fast means of transport to traverse the world, as well as providing a 20-slot onboard storage capacity, which is really nice. Oh, mobile storage! Yay! <laughs> How long have we wanted that? Um, it runs on vehicle fuel and has onboard pa battery power required for ignition and headlights, so you have to you need it to start the engine up. 
Uh, when mounting the vehicle, the driving HUD will show in the top right, giving stats on speed, fuel, battery, etc. And so here we are. We, we've got this is the condi this is the health of the the vehicle here, I suppose. And then you've got the battery strength, and there's a little meter, right? Uh, fuel, uh, RPMs, and then speed, and then some sort of gear shifter of some sort. I'm not sure. And then the headlight. And then uh, I suppose this is, yeah, I don't know what that is. That's maybe, is that the, those are the symbols used to access? Okay. Okay. That's the three. There are three interactable areas. The engine at the front. There's the, uh, where the player can refuel and jumpstart the battery. The driving, driving section. And then the trunk. Here's the trunk where the player can access. That's how you get to the storage. You have to go around back of, to get at it. Okay, cool. Like that. Oh, look at that action shot. It's beautiful. Um, the vehicle is designed for travel rather than combat. Good to know. So while it is possible to ram players, hunters, and animals, this will ultimately build up damage on the vehicle. <laughs> oh, as too will impacts with world geometry. <laughs> trees and rocks so be mindful of your speed and routes oh see i was you, that this is what's going to prevent you from just running over rogues whenever you see them it's it because you're going to damage it um so first and third person view so there is an option for driving in either third or first person view that's kind of cool you can toggle between the two using the existing cycle camera key which is rebindable. The game will remember your choice, so you don't have to keep re resetting it. That's good to know. That's Actually, that's really nice. Manual transmission. I've never seen a manual transmission that goes up and down. That's like a shifter. Like a, like a you know, like in a, the where it's like a midway between automatic and manual, like a, a flappy paddle gearbox, and then it's also got the, the little shifter to go up and down. He opted against automatic, feeling that having a manual creates a more satisfying control mechanic, as well as higher skill ceiling for traversing ter ter terrain effectively and efficiently. Oh, good grief. <laughs> the gears can be shifted using the mouse wheel oh, or whatever you have bound to the next and previous weapon. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to remember. We'll have to... Okay. Uh, battery power and headlights. Uh, the battery will slowly charge over time based on the speed of the wheels spinning. So idling with the engine running will not produce a charge. Interesting choice. Uh, if the battery runs dead, you will not be able to fire up the engine. Okay. All right. Um, the headlights can be operated using the L key while driving or whatever you have bound to your toggle flashlight key. That's handy as well. That's uh, Then you don't have to have multiple keys. Uh, he added some uh, subtle lens flare and ambient illumination. Of course you did, Cold Games. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. On the hood and bumpers, which I think looks pretty nice. I have to agree, actually. I'm li this does look really nice. Uh, players thrown from the vehicle having a high speed impact will cause a player to be thrown from the vehicle in a rag doll. They will, oh, that'll be cool. They will stand back up after a moment and regain control, but this could result in a dangerous situation, so drive carefully. Yes, you, if you did that one around some hostile, you'd be in trouble. Uh, vehicle access permissions. This, this is for co-op. Uh, essentially, ownership can be traced back to the player who placed the BCU, which powered the VCB, which constructed the vehicle. Thus, any player who shares base membership with that player will have access to the vehicle and access to its inventory. All right, so there you go. It has to do with the BCU, where it was built. Um, <clears throat> here we go. This is where things get fun. Black Crystal. So a new ore is required to build items for vehicle construction. However, players will need to venture to the lava caves to find these new nodes. I am... Cut, look, look the, I, if you saw me right now, it would have my shocked face. Because I'm just kidding. I'm not shocked at all. Um... Mind with the pickaxe. Okay, so it looks similar to crystal, but it's uh, but it's kind of got a black hue to it. Uh, mind with the pickaxe or axe. The nodes will lead will yield black crystal ore, and the ore must be refined uh, in the refinery to produce pure black crystal, ready for crafting. Okay, climbing axes are required to descend down into the return from lava case. Yes, we're we're familiar with that. Uh, the the ah, so these are the new parts. Advanced mechanical parts. Uh, these new parts are required for vehicle con construction and can be crafted at a lathe. So we've got the uh, 15 iron, 15 zinc, 15, or sorry, 15 copper, 15 zinc, 15 iron, and three of the new black crystal uh, plus 200 power and 50 masses equal is used to make advanced mechanical parts. 
uh, which are also required for vehicle repairs. Oh, boy. They can take some time to craft, so best to queue them up and let the lathe do its thing. All right, cool. Uh, you're not, it, 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 you're going to have to build up a bit of power and mass to queue those up, though. Uh, heavy bolts, okay. Another new item required for construction. Allows me to balance the yields of standard crystal with late-game crafting. Some recipe reshuffling is a little overdue at this point. I, I do agree. I'm not sure what the... Yeah, okay. Well, let's just leave it at that. So to make these doohickeys, you need uh, six iron, six zinc, and two of the old crystal, plus a little bit less power. So they're simpler to make. Uh, docking the vehicle. So the VCB will automatically dock if the player exits the vehicle while it's on the VCB. I guess it doesn't, you don't have to be perfectly on it. And it will rotate the vehicle to face forward uh, and raise it on the bay feet. So it auto loads and turns it and all that. Once docked, menus will open up in the VCB terminal to be able to repair and rename upgrade the vehicle. When you start to drive the vehicle, it will automatically undock. So that's kind of nice, actually. Um, vehicle recall. Oh, I didn't know about this. There may be times when your vehicle becomes disabled out in the field, either due to taking too much damage or getting plunged into a lake, etc. Within the VCB terminal, under the All Vehicles tab, that's this one here, I suppose, with the multiple vehicles, uh, of, you could view a list of all vehicles you have access to, showing their names, health, skin, distance. Players have the option to recall or teleport it back, the, any vehicle back to the base at the cost of power. 300 power, which is like a, like a respawn. It's like a bed. So that, that you know what, that's really nice because um, that means you could, it's, a, it does, it's not free, but you can at least pull the, the, the vehicle back to your base if you need to. That's awesome. Uh, the further the that this prevents the entire landscape and the uh, bottom of the lake to, from being uh, overrun by um, dead vehicles. Uh, the fur <laughs> the further the vehicle from the B VCB, the the higher the oh, so it ranges depending on oh, it depends on um, where it is. So uh, there's a floor and ceiling to the cost, but the farther away it is, the more power it will cost to recall it. Uh, and it will dock it at the VCB that recalled it. And then there's, here's the garage door, the new door. Um, so alloy, so standard stuff, the old stuff, alloy, electronics, and um, the crystal. And then plus a, a fair amount of power and mass, actually. Not huge, but enough. And then that makes the door. So it's intended for use with the VCB. It's one, it is one and a half foundation width, the same as the VCB. Uh, although it can be snapped to any foundation or ceiling, it does not require power to operate and can be crafted at the lathe. Cool. How you, why you would craft a door at a lathe, I, well, you know what, we're not going to get into that. Garage ramp, uh, similar in dimensions to foundation stairs, uh, although is measured to fit the VCB at one and a half foundations width. Okay, again, yeah, more scrap. Oh, this is scrap, so alloy scrap and crystal. Not so expensive. And then there's your little ramp. I suppose you'd only need one. Yeah, look, there's the little wheel tracks. There's wheel tracks in the middle. That's kind of cool. And that is like a foundation. So that's, you know, you don't have to use this with the garage. You could use it for anything, really, by the looks of it. Um, while a vehicle is docked, the VCB terminal under the docked vehicle tab. Uh, under the vehicle docked vehicle tab, there's a tab called uh, upgrades. Uh, currently there's only one, the garage door fob. So you can create like a remote control for opening and closing the garage door can be used while driving to remotely open. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it can be crafted. Oh, you <laughs> We finally have a purpose for the rogue transceiver. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> uh, once attached, an additional icon will show on the HUD and then you can open and close the door remotely. Uh, vehicle damage system. Oh, look at that poor damaged ATV. Um, he worked hard to add, Cold Games at worked hard to add visual detail to the damaged vehicle, damaged stages of the vehicle. The paint components take dents and burn marks. That's really nicely done, by the way. I like that. Uh, he's using morphing, apparently, <laughs> to, blend, to bend and misshape the geometry of the parts of the vehicle as it takes continued damage. Neat. Okay. Um, when damage has become excessive, the engine will start to hiss. The smoke eventually catch fire and ultimately explode once health reaches zero. I wonder if um, once exploded, the, 
it, the tires will also be blown off. I wonder if you get hurt if you get caught in the explosion. I have to suspect that you do. And then, of course, even if it's in terrible shape, uh, you can recall it. So uh, it must be docked to the VCB to repair, either driving it on and recalling it, if fully disabled. Um, within the VCB terminal under docked vehicle, there's a vehicle condition tab. This one here, I suppose, in the middle. And it shows the vehicle state and the items required to make repair. Required to make repairs. So here's items required. Okay. All right. That's cool. And then there's like the little state. The Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's oil, but I suspect that's fuel. I don't know, though. Uh, repair progress will consume power throughout the process. Uh, if tires are missing, they'll automatically be re reattached. <laughs> Magic. The, the vehicle becomes drivable again, so uh, as at least one tire is attached, uh, as at least one. Although, missing tires greatly affect handling. Yeah, <laughs> please note that a vehicle, uh, uh, vehicles are never actually destroyed. They're simply burnt out and disabled and recoverable with re repair, which is really nice because they really, they're quite expensive to make. Oh, hey, look at that. There's a, the, the uh, GX10. This is the, this is the end used on the generator. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> vehicle battery crafted the workbench. So it's the full battery and, uh, for vehicle construction, as well as a jump kit, you can create a jump kit, uh, six regular batteries. I think that has reduced. It was a bit more expensive before. I'm pretty sure that got tuned along the way. I might be wrong though. Uh, one alloy sheet and 10 of the electrical pieces, and then, you know, makes the battery. And then to make the jump kit, it's another additional alloy sheet and some more electrical pieces plus some more power mass to make it. And it, it looks pretty fancy. Um, yeah. Provides a minimum charge to start the battery engine. The vehicle can charge the remaining percent through use. The jump kit will be returned to the player. and But use meaning you have to drive because apparently it only charges the battery when the wheels are turning. Uh, jump kit will be returned to the player and will need to be recharged using batteries. So they're, they have a capacity. Okay, and in the VCB terminal, oh, there's custom paint. Under docked vehicle tab, there's a sub tab for paint. You could have like different paint options for for your thing. You can get those um, in in Steam. Uh, they're like little add-ons, um, which is you know a nice. It, they're not horribly expensive. They're a nice little way for cool games to get um, money out of uh, old folks like myself who've been playing for a long time and bought the game ages ago or got the game ages ago. I think it was given to me. Um, and you know, we haven't put any more money in it for years. So this is a great way for people like me, for example, to be able to pitch in and, you know, help him continue his work and stuff like that. I'm not saying everybody else should do it. I'm just saying this is my logic. So, um, vehicle fuel crafted at the workbench. Players can add fuel by accessing the vehicle engine HUD, um, and then placing it in the slot provided. So 10 biofuel plus an alcohol. Now this, I think, has also changed this recipe. I'm not 100% sure, but it makes a little, you know, who's and what's it's. Uh, excess fuel in the engine. Oh, any excess fuel after the engine is full, uh, it full, will be returned to the player. So no need to split. That's nice. Um, vehicle attachments. There's a section for uh, vehicle attachments. It's for future stuff. No promises. Uh, but it could be for things like a passenger seat, a mower, a mower, <laughs> what, <laughs> or a trailer mower. Oh, I'm not, I don't even, what is that? So you can mow down rogues. I'm not sure. Map icons for vehicles. So there's a little icon. That's what it looks like. Um, you don't have to forget where you parked. Very nice. Handy. Uh, also not vehicle related, reduced food decay in trap bait. Oh, that's actually really good. He, he, I heavily nerfed the decay rate of bait and traps. So that's really welcome, actually. Reduced decay for eggs in the animal housing. I guess that was a, a common problem. People were having an issue because the de eggs were decaying too fast. So now it, they will last much longer when left in the housing. So if you pull them out, they'll start to decay faster. But left in the housing, they don't. Um, reduced muffled water, river waterfall noise while inside an enclosed base. This is nice. So players that have built over loud waterfalls will now have more immersive and peaceful experience while in their base. This is good because one of the reasons why I've avoided building over a waterfall is because I thought the noise would drive me insane. 
And so this is very welcome. So I like this. Good. That's a nice, thoughtful change. Uh, Hunter-based locations. So I've heard about this. As the map has grown a lot, hunters will now build their bases further out from player bases. When starting playing the update on existing profiles, they will be reset and start building again from scratch. This update uh, wipes out the hunter bases, and then they will start rebuilding again, uh, And but it, it'll be further out away from your base. This is interesting, so it's it's good to know. We'll have to, yeah, we'll deal with that. <clears throat> so new UI drop-down menus, um, they're larger, will resize to the content, uh, textual content, textual content. I have clearer selections and have a subtle animation, much nicer in my opinion. Oh, well, we, I look forward to, um, uh, I will look for, forward to seeing that actually. Um, fixed shaky ADS, <clears throat> aim down sights. Uh, some players may have noticed a very annoying subtle shaking of the weapon when raised. Ooh, this was due to the end. I, you know what? Maybe I have, but I just, I got used to it. Um, it was due to the independent FOV scaling between weapon arms mesh and the worldview fighting each other. Oh, well, now that's interesting. He's fixed it. So the uh, weapon holds uh, smoothly once raised. We're going to have to try that out. Maybe. Uh, PVP damage to vehicles. If your server has PV PVP damage disabled... Um, then players will not be able to inflict damage. To, okay, that's good to know. Dedicated server dormant vehicles. Um, okay, so it, it, if there's nobody on the server, it stores them so that it doesn't put load on the server. Good to know. And then some new admin stuff, new clothing skins. This is what I was talking about. These are little extra things you can get. Um, like this Christmas shirt is one that I wore uh, up. Well, I think I'm still wearing it now, actually. Um, and that's where I got it was from the Steam store. Um, it's in, and he says, thanks again to anyone supporting the game through cosmetic, uh, through this cosmetic systems. Like I said, this is purely cosmetic. And if you don't, you know, it's up to you. And if you want to just, you know, um, encourage cold games to keep working on stuff. Um, it's a, it's an option that's available. You don't have to take it. I'm not, you know, uh, there's some more little bits and pieces for the, here's the ones for the skins for the ATV and for the uh, lever action and the compound bow i have to turn that on i think i i i bought it but i haven't been able to use it because i think you needed alpha 60 for it to be even uh enabled other notable changes uh <laughs> this is a lot of changes actually this is a big release notes uh, he, uh fixed craft queue sometimes not showing for clients uh accessing an external crafting station uh bleeding icon this has been a long-standing issue for uh, co-op on like network games um that's nice to see uh jarred food feeding animals in the housing will now return an empty jar that's great um the weapon vehicle cosmetics so there's some more cosmetic stuff uh rotating buildables now for eight points of rotation rather than four I, uh that's interesting fixed an exploit that allowed players on servers to name their base that is interesting this 8.1 um, exploit the loud players and servers. Okay, so there's a an exploit for servers, uh, a bug where weapons and all of that would uh, repair. If, oh, really? If it was less than 1% health? I didn't know about that. Um, fix the hunter base placements, uh, building partially into the ground, clipping with the, causing the ground to clip through the floor. We had that with our uh, fortress base. So that apparently has been fixed. Uh, lakes having collision in uh, for ragdolling animals and humans after the lake had thawed from frozen. Uh, fixed BCU not showing as being accessed when another player is using it. That's for network stuff. Um, fixed small animals not showing injured animation and sounds when injured. Previously, they always showed as dead. Really? Okay. And then allow max health and stamina progress bars to fill an extra bar after reaching the max 125. This prevents the HUD notice showing too frequently when the each time we eat after... Oh, this is to prevent it from oscillating... Um, up and down. Um, yeah, this happens to me all the time. And then he fixed something with free cam, which I don't use. Uh, and then here's some, some stuff in hosting your own server and various other things. And then more translations. Yeah. Thank you, uh, for, uh, all these, all these fine folks for donating your time and efforts. That's very appreciated. And that's it. And then there's like the old stuff. 
All right. Um, man, that was a, that took a while, but uh, I think what we'll do is we'll let's let's at least take a quick look at some of the stuff. All right. Alpha 60. I think it was alpha 60.31 is what it said in the upper right hand corner when I was loading. Oh, 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 I'm eh, oh, OK. I think I sunk a little bit. Oh. All right. Now, um, oh, you know what? Uh, I always have to change these things. Controls, uh, tool belt. Uh, this is you and this is you and then actions. I need to make this um, forward backwards right and left. I, I use a smaller keyboard and uh, it doesn't have the numpad stuff. So and uh, yeah, and I like to have my um, the, the this is like uh, bandages and, and health kits. I use the thumb. The, there's a couple of buttons on thumb mouse buttons. So there's that. And then you know what? That's um. Let's make sure. What else is uh? Is there anything else changed? Nineteen. I I just play 1080p because uh, that's me. I just like to um ultra high. I have this thing. I think I have it all maxed out, um for the most part. Um and then I just oh I guess I do use a uh, uh VSync, but that's okay. That's for recording, by the way. Otherwise, I get you get weird lines. Uh, all right, and then. Options, controls, options, uh, master volume. I might have to change that. Uh, I think everything else, I'm just going to assume is fine. All right. Those are the little things that you got to check when uh, you... Um, hang on, let's go upstairs. When, when we get updates and stuff like that, things get reset. Oh, my, look at that. This is what I was saying. My, the base is gone. It's, they're, they're disappeared. There's no more hunters on the, on the map right now. I wonder if there's rogues. Whoosh. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we won't see the, any any uh, lights or anything like that if we uh, during the daytime. Uh, it, well, you could, but it's very difficult. Well, you know what? Actually, um, wait a minute. What, what was that? Oh, okay. That's my little base. I have a. I was like, what was this this little marking here? Um, there's the cave and there's my base over there. Can we see the bridge from... Oh, yeah, there, there's the bridge. All right. Uh, let's get into the, the actual um, update. So, uh, yeah. I didn't expect it to be ready. Oh, by the way, that this, this brings up an interesting part of this whole thing. You know what, buddy? All right, we got to do uh, our first Alpha 60 wolf kill. Hey! Come here. There we go. We've done it in Alpha 60. That means that it's, uh, this is an elf, dead Alpha 60 wolf. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It doesn't mean anything really. Oh, yeah, there you go. See, Alpha 60. It's hard to see, but Alpha 60.31. So that's kind of nice. All right, let's go. Um, we have to actually, uh, let's take a look and see what we can do with the, uh, the new updates and stuff like that. Uh, if I can even remember what they all are. I also have to take care of the tomatoes and uh, all that other business, if I remember correctly. Um, you know what? We can deal with this later. We've got other things that need to be done. Let's take a look in. Well, no, let's look in the BCU first. So in the BCU, uh, here is the vehicle construction bay. And then there's the advanced mechanical parts that we need. And uh, I went a little off on the edge there. That's OK. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, uh, let's do uh let's oh oh there's the new context menu it's a little bit deeper and split half there we go that's gonna take a little getting used to i'm so used to the old one drink um if i were to go to my clothing now and right click repair 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 and repair there's no destroy tear into rags is still right next to repair oh no <laughs> Ah, uh, it's okay though. But <laughs> one day I'm gonna accidentally tear my my pants apart, and I, I, I'm not even. Oh no! no let's put you in here. Um, wait a minute. What's what are you at? Yeah, let's um do a bit of this little stuff so that I don't forget later. Uh, put you in there. Okay, now. So we were taking a look in here. Um, there's the vehicle bay, uh, vehicle construction bay. It, it takes advanced mechanical parts. Uh, and it's fairly expensive to build, but that's all right. It's fine. It's an end, end game thing. It's whatever, right? Um, and then so uh, presumably advanced mechanical parts. I don't remember where they were made. Are they made in the lathe? Yes. 
So here's where we make the advanced mechanical parts. Oh, it did actually say that in the notes, didn't it? And here's, this is where we need the black crystal. Uh, and this is where we can make these guys with regular crystal. We can make a garage door. That's kind of cool. You know what? We could make a garage door today. And we could make maybe the garage ramp. Just, just so that we can say that we did something. We can start planning out our little, uh, where all that other, all the stuff is upstairs. By the way, how's our, um, refining going? Uh, it's coming along. We're gonna need a lot of materials for this. Alright, so that's, that's these new two pieces here. Um, and then these, yeah, the components here, the bolts and the advanced mechanical parts, the garage door and the, gra the, uh, garage ramp. Okay, good to know. Is there anything new in here? Oh, well, except for the fact that we made a bunch of these guys. Aha! Aha! Look at this! Here's the vehicle battery, right? And here's the, the jump kit, which requires a battery. And then here's the vehicle fuel. You know what we could do? Just for just so that we can do something right away. Let's make some fuel. So we need biofuel and alcohol. Well, alcohol, we have actually a fair amount. I'm going to do enough for... Uh... I think we need, what, 24? I don't need to grab exactly the right amount, but I'm going to do it anyways. And we could do one, two. Oh, no, I need more. I needed, it was 10 per, not 8 per. Oh, my goodness. Here, let's just grab that whole stack. And then we'll, we'll make a, a bit more. Why three? Because. <laughs> I don't have a good reason. I don't have a good reason at all. All right, uh, let's put you away. We've got a few bits and pieces here. We can do some stuff. This is, um, and then we've got the alcohol. No, wait, wait, wait. Did I? Oh, we're, we overflowed on berry water. Okay. Well, we'll put that in there. Now, that should give us 10 per. So once we get, uh, yeah, if we make three of these, then we'll end up with 30 uh, vehicle fuels. So that's kind of cool. Um, here, I'll, I'll grab that. I'm going to put it in my little um, little spare doohickey chest. It's, I don't know, it's just used for random stuff. Uh, and then the other thing we could do is we could... Well, I don't really want to get into making that stuff yet. We can, but... Yeah, we could. We could. But um, I'm, I'm more interested in checking out the, the, the ramp and the door. And uh, we have to start building um, up on the top of the base. So we're going to have to look at doing that too. So we're going to need 110 mass to end uh, Well, let's grab them. You know what? Here. Let's turn you on. Let's turn... Oh, you on. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have... I had two on already. Okay. Let's um, top these all up. There we go. And then that'll... Oh, we ha don't have a lot. Of, you know what? Here, let's... Uh, oh, okay. So these, I don't need to recycle anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to recycle them anymore. Because they have an actual purpose now. <laughs> I used to just recycle them. Um, yeah. We could, we could start by just doing this for now. And that'll get us up a fair amount. 100 and, yeah, there we go. 114. In fact... You know what? We're going to need a lot of mass anyways. Let's just keep keep that going. Um, in is... Yeah, is less than out. Okay. Well, let's not worry about it. Um, let's get the materials needed to build the first item, which is... Let's do the garage door. So five alloy sheets, two electrical... Um, one, two, three, four, five, two electric... Okay. And then how many uh, crystal? Seven crystal. Oh, I hope I have enough. Okay, I, I have some... I don't have as much crystal as I would like, but it's not it's not painfully low. That's good. All right, we can build that. Oh! <laughs> nice. Do, do, do. How quick... It's not fast, is it? Yeah, this is a... It's a bit of a slow process. Okay, all right. Now, what do we need for the next one? So, uh, four alloy sheets. Uh, we only have two. That means I'm going to need to make uh, another couple of alloy sheets. So, uh, scrap, iron, and zinc. Um, and 
Let's, let's, ah, let's just, no, let's, no, 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 let's just grab that hole. You're still going? <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, we're going to need two more of these guys. Excellent. Oh, it's almost done. There we go. We got ourselves a garage door. Sweet. Um, now, what else do we have? We want the ramp. So we're going to need, we've got two more of these guys being made. Um, we're going to need four scrap. Here, let's put the, uh, the rest of the scrap away and grab four. Uh, let's put the unused, this, this is why I, I want that down there. Okay, that's why I want it, I take half, because I want it to, I don't want it to, like, just randomly place somewhere in the, the thing. All right, so, um, that's in progress. We need three crystal. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, these guys are done. Now, we're going to need more power and mass, obviously, to be able to make it. Uh, 50 mass, specifically. And then, but we've got everything else. Power is definitely taking a bit of a hit. Uh, this bad boy here is running, but we can uh, recycle a little bit more mass to... Here, well, let's just do it. There we go. Don't recycle the garage. How much is the garage door? 10 mass. How much is three crystal? 4.5. Not worth. Not worth at all. All right. Yep. I think we can make it now. So let's, uh, yep, 50. There we go. And this is, again, it's another one that takes a bit of time. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm hungry. You know what? While that's happening, I'm going to go and get something to eat. Uh, we got you. Uh, that's for the animals, which I'm going to have to check on. Uh, one, two, three, and then we'll cook up some steaks. How are you guys doing? But you in the mining drill, seriously, one of these days. Okay, you're okay. You're all right. Um, so we don't have to worry about you too much yet. We will, though. We will be worrying about you. You, we worry about all the time because you have this weird fixation with the uh, mining drills, and I don't, I just don't understand it. Okay. My chicken is a little bit nutty. Uh, oh, there we go. How we doing? Almost done. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little uh, garage ramp. All right. Oh, dinner. <laughs> oh, you're not. Oof. Okay. Let's just. Here, we'll just grab that and that anyways. Am I cooking biofuel? No, I'm not. All right. And we'll just dump you. We'll dump you in there. Do 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 do. Are you done yet? Is this taking longer than it should, or is it just? Am I just like accelerated for some reason right now? There we go. Okay. Is that enough? Yep. All right. Good. We got a got a spare for later. And then uh, for some vegetables. We're going to have a lot of tomatoes coming in, so I'm just going to eat tomatoes. And then we've got some... Uh, here. Uh, actually, I'm going to drink these because uh, we have a max stack of berry water right now. All right. Um, I'm going to shut this down because this is a bit of a going concern. This power is... My power is draining just because I, I only have three engines. I might get some more of these... of. Uh, in, uh, uh, generators just to boost my uh, simultaneous power uh, creating ability. Um, I don't know. Um, one day we may make some more uh, solar panels as well, but they're they're kind of a little bit more expensive to make, and it's more of a long term thing. These guys are relatively inexpensive, and they will do the job. And getting biofuel is relatively easy. It walks around on four legs outside. Just sort of go and get it. Um, but yeah, they're not horrific to make and uh each one provides a you know an additional unit of one unit of power so it's a it's a nice way of making uh um uh, increasing your power capacity all right where was i ah yes we were gonna do some uh let's see we're gonna grab you we can grab maybe half of you um grab you know what? I'm going to grab half of that one and half of that one and grab a full stack of nails. This is so that, uh, by the way, I do this so that when I shift click back in, it just automatically split goes back into the existing stacks. 
It's just easier. Um, I'm probably going to need rope more than that. In fact, we have almost 200 fiber. You know what we could do? We could make a couple of fuel bricks and some cordage. There we go. And then maybe another couple of fuel, brick, fuel bricks. There we go. And then put the rest back. All right. Um, I, I w we're going to see if we can do a little bit of uh, planning and building and, and, and see what we can do about this, uh, figuring out where to put the the uh, the new the building bay, the thingamabobber. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. What are we, what are we missing here? What, what are we leaving ourselves? Four in, 1.6 out. That's from the refinery. I think we're in good shape. How much fuel is in these guys? We could top that up. Uh, yeah. There we go. And let's get back upstairs and figure out where we're going to put the vehicle bay. Oh, by the way. Um, I should be able to... No. Ah. Black camo. Whoa. <laughs> and then, um, what is it? Uh, P? No, V. Yeah, there we go. There. See, look, I got my fancy new skin on my bow. Ah. Very cool. I like it. And I'm wearing my Christmas sweater. Yeah. You know what I should do? It is the season, isn't it? It's the season. Um... We're going to do this. Let's go to clothing and no, no, no. Over here. Uh, Santa hat because reasons. There's nothing for that. We could do the while well, we're doing the, the holiday sweater. Nothing. Oh, we have we could do uh, snow camo for our pants, but it's not that time of year. So we could do woodland camo or we can do the default, which is black, or we can do this. We could take a look at that. Um, and then the shoes, we don't have anything. But, yeah, I mean, in the, in the winter, I, can, I think it makes sense. But in the summer, I think I like my basic black. So I'm going to go back with basic black. Uh, I could do the, this woodland one. Then I'm all stealthy. See that? Look, I'm hard to see now. You, can't, you probably can barely see me right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Ooh, hey, bear. Um, all right. So, uh, V. Oof. Nice. All right. What else is there? Uh, I think there was uh, a camo for. Oh, there's the uh, nickel. There's this one, nickel plated. The this this um. Yeah, it's kind of fancy. I think we could try that for a little bit. I don't think there's any, for any. No, there's nothing for the pistol. I need to make batteries, but we have other purposes for batteries right now. Uh, I already have this the black and black camo and gold trim for the for this guy and I don't remember what else there was I th so I'm not going to worry about it let's go now we need to build uh, a, a vehicle bay I think that 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 essentially right here and this is what my plan was was now is there a danger with this scenario there is a little bit of a danger here let's make sure we're not going to get ambushed by an animal. Is it me or is there like a mist? There's mist. I think we're good. Oh, oh, actually though. Here. Um, or break. Do 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 There's another uh there's another or up here. And we're gonna get you. Okay. Or, or, oh, oh, there's a bear. Oh, he's interested. Did you see that? He looked up at me and went, oh, oh, <laughs> what are you doing? You look tasty. Two legs. That's what they call me. Tasty two legs. Cause, uh, they imagine that I must taste wonderful. All right. Now, um, oh man, I'm starting to loot. This is not good. Let's get back to the base and start doing what we wanted to do, which is, uh, at least, at the very least, plan out the building situation. So, I have to be somewhat careful. Um, the, the prudent thing to do would be to actually build it, like, right here. Uh, because I... And then take advantage of the fact that this exists. And then... 
maybe I'd have to build something because what I can see myself doing if this the ramp is is going to be maybe let's say it's right here for example and then and maybe that's actually a good idea anyways because of the height the relative height of the top of the base with respect to this part over here maybe that's a little too high there but what i can see myself doing is accidentally going off to the side a little bit and then ending up falling down into the into there with my vehicle which is something that i Okay, look, I know you'd probably find that amusing, but I want to avoid it. <laughs> so there you go. We're done making all our bits and pieces. I think what we'll do is we will make a couple of wood ceilings. Yeah, let's make a couple of wood ceilings. Extend out this way a bit. I think building the garage here would be kind of nice. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, oh, right, we have to make some space. And we'll put that there. And then what else? We got another one coming? Yes, we do. Ooh, fall to my death there. And the, the vehicle is a half, one and a half. So, oh, by the way, this is the... Look, he, you could do, um, this is the, what I was talking about with the, with the, he said it's now got eight positions when you rotate. It used to be that it was just this, 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 and this. Now it's this, 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 this. <laughs> you get the idea. But that's so cool because that's on a perfect, uh, you know, you could, what happens if you snap it in and then you rotate it at, no, it doesn't do it while it's snapped. Okay. I was thinking it would be kind of cool if you could snap it in like that and then hit the rotate and it'll automatically rotate it in place 45 degrees. That would be sweet, but um, no, we're not. Okay, that's going to take a bit of getting used to, um, by the way. Okay, so that's too wide here, right? And then what we can do is, well, this is, this is a... Where do we want to do the vehicle bay? I assume... Like, if this is two, and the vehicle bay is one and a half wide. You know what? Let's put another one here. I'm out of boards. Okay, we need to start making wood planks. That's why I got a bunch of this stuff. Let's do that in the background. And let's just work with what we've got for now. Okay. So, um, we could put that, and let's... Well, let's start with this. Now, this... Ooh fancy schmancy and we want it to be here right but it doesn't snap there it'll snap there or there if I wanted it to snap in the in the middle of these two I don't think we do though I think we want it to snap here Let's do that. Let's put... It, we can always move it, right? Like, this stuff is all movable. And then I ride, drive my vehicle right up there. So this is... I don't know. Is it going to be a little bit funky? It might. It might be a bit funky. The other option... Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Let's grab this. We could just mix things up a little bit. Uh, we'll just stick this, like, right... Um, there for now and then we'll take this we could put it like over that kind of way but uh let's move this over uh punka punka oh oh i have to do double bunkers now okay not there but okay wait a minute there no i want it to be there like this and we can still run in like this and then this guy, we can make it, um, it'll make more sense, I think, over here. Oh, maybe not, because we have to drive through trees to get to it. Oh, this got complicated. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Don't delete, by the way. There we go. Okay. It's going to take a minute to get used to the new eight position rotation, but we'll get used to it. So here's the big problem with where I am right now. Hey, bear. 
is I'd have to drive between these two trees and then... I don't need... I am trying to build and you... Oh, actually, no, we need you. Actually, I need your biofuel, so I appreciate your visit. Two biofuel... Oh, uh, two fats. Nice. It's either uh, here or... Yeah. Yeah. The other option is if I were to build a uh, half-high wall here... And then essentially have uh, drive the vehicle right through here and then onto there. But I don't know. I kind of like that sort of entry. Oh man, this is uh, this is gonna take a bit of thought. But this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to see what was going on. Now we can, by the way, we can place the garage door. Now is that the inside or the outside? I'm going to assume that's the inside. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's pretty cool. I actually like that quite a bit. That is... Uh... I like the sound, too. It really sounds awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's probably starting to get a little annoying, but um, I do like the uh, I do like the sound of it. The other option, no, see these trees here cause a big problem, and this is what I'm worried about is the fact that you know I can this part. Remember it said like you have to be careful, you don't run into things, and it'll cause damage and all that other business and I don't know how difficult it is going to be to steer the, the 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 ATV um I need to wash my hands don't I uh yeah I don't know how difficult it is going to be to steer the ATV so oh zinc you know what we need zinc zinc is on our list there we go oh this is the, I love the mist in this game. It, it's really cool. It doesn't happen very often, but it do, when it happens, it's it's pretty sweet. See, so to approach from there, you have to go through those trees. But if I make it so that, and let me see, if we come, if I have to come through this way, and then right on through there, that makes a heck of a lot more sense. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave this here for now. Uh, because I just I need somewhere to put it. Wow, this mist is so cool. I need water though. I need to wash my hands. Let's Oh man, look at this. Let's get this light on. And the interior. Oh look at the mist inside the base! <laughs> oh wow, this is so neat. Oh, this, it looks so, so cool. Oh, is it clearing up? I think it might, no, it's, there's, there's the mist there. Hang on. I'm sorry. I know that this is a, it may not seem like, but I, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's really neat. If there's the, I thought I heard a bow. I mean, this, look at the, look at the, the, it just, it's, the mist is so good at well done in this game. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. All right, well, uh, back to the task at hand. Uh, there's mist in my base, but it should clear up once we I've been here. There we go. The inside of the base is now somewhat cleared up. How's power doing? It is up. It's actually doing pretty good, so we're getting there. Um, oh, let's see if we can spot where the rogues are, if there are any rogues in the area. There are... Okay, that is interesting. 
Now, I don't know how long it's going to take for uh, the, the, the new hunters to show up on the map. And remember that only two of the hunter bases have... Uh, only two of the hunter bases have a campfire. One of the hunter bases does not. And if I remember correctly, we're looking for... Is it the blue LEDs that are hunter bases? And then green are roads? Something like that. Are we gonna see uh are we gonna see any LEDs here? Any not LEDs like the, the light sticks? I am curious. It, it the So the the game wiped out all the, the my bases, all the hunter bases on the map. And then it's reestablishing them elsewhere in the map. And uh at a further distance from my base Ah, oh, that was blue. Uh, at a further distance from my base than it used to be. So the question is, how far out are these new bases going to be? And that's that's blue. And I can't remember if it's the if it's blue or it's green that are uh, the the um, the rogues or the hunt. I'll have to look it up. I I don't remember. Um, I I don't normally have to care because I know exactly where my hunter bases are. And an LED, or like LED, I keep saying LED, a light stick that's near that base is going to be the one that's a hunter. So then not near the base is just, you know. Uh, and then there's these guys over here. Are we going to see any um, light sticks here? Hello. Bueller. Bueller. I don't see anything. I'm just going to move away. Oh, I'm looking. Nope. I'm going to look away. Look away. Nope. I'm going to guess that they're rogues. I don't know if if we, if we they would build a, a, a new... But that's just it. We don't know how far out they're going to be building these bases. Again, there's the blue, right? We don't know what color this one is. The other way that we're going to be able to tell is any campfire that stays in one place for multiple days in a row is going to be a, a hunter base. Ones that disappear and then reappear somewhere else are rogue bases, right? No, uh, no light stick over here? Bro, where's your light stick? Now, the other thing we want to look for is it uh, actually, and I don't know if they're going to be bringing in all the hunter bases in one day. Uh, it's it could be staged like Alpha first, then then Bravo, then then uh, Charlie. No light stick yet for this one nor this one. Okay, all right, you guys are gonna be shy. That's that's fine, I suppose. Interesting. Well, we'll find out. <laughs> now, oh, I've got um, liver on me. We could actually cook those up. Uh, and we just have... No, 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 no. Oh, I don't think it actually deposited, did it? Oh, thank goodness. Um, I accidentally um, clicked twice on that. And we can do that one as well. There we go. I, I think I only made four fuel bricks, so I think we're good. Now, I'm I'm just I I definitely I want to find out what what this stuff is who these who these folks are, and I am curious about it. We don't know this one yet. We do know that's blue, and we don't know this one yet. Okay, well, and there's no others, right? Like I didn't miss them. They're just they're not here. Not here. All right. Well, I think we've spent enough time looking at the map. That's fine. There we go. Now we have some more boards, so we could actually do a little more building. Uh, it is the next day. Actually, let's turn out the light. 
And no, you're not you. Yes, you. And we'll put this away in here. Have one, of course. All right, well, I should do some maintenance. Um, I think you get the idea of what my, what my challenges are with the whole roof situation. We've got time. It's going to take me a while to be able to proceed with that. And uh, at least we have a, we'll have that, the, the, those building items. And uh, we'll be able to make a bit of progress. In the meantime, um, it does seem like I, I, uh, I was being told that um, they did re re uh, they did change the the bio the fuel requirements. So maybe I don't need as much alcohol as I thought. But regardless, <clears throat> I don't mind growing uh, potatoes. So I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do we're gonna grow some potatoes because uh, one two. We do need them, and I think we'll do two plant beds, because we've already got... I think these other ones are tomatoes, aren't they? Yeah, I had four plant beds of tomatoes. I don't need that many pot uh, tomatoes. So we can put these in here. Oh, that's overflow anyways. Oh my goodness. Well, we've got 40. Um, I'll eat one at least, and then we need to uh, extract... Let's do... Uh... Five and six. There we go. So that's for the uh, that's for the the other plant bed. Uh, at least one of these. We'll do this one with potatoes, and then this one here, I could do with potatoes as well. In fact, I think I probably should. So we'll just do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, five, and three. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We need them. And then for the tomatoes, what we could do is we could make some tomato soup because, uh, you know, animals. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of, uh, I got tomatoes, I got you, I got you, and where's the boil? Uh, one, two, three, four. We can make a bunch of tomato soup. Why I keep going in and out of the stove is beyond me, but I think of, I think of the storage as different from this and it makes me back out and go back in and... Yeah, it's foolishness. You can go in there, and you can go back in there. And that still leaves me with 13 extra tomatoes, which I will, I'll just keep them, and we can maybe even feed the ant. No, you know what? One, two. Let's feed the animals with those. And, uh see how far we get with it actually we can tell uh each one of these is 42 hunger so it's just under half so basically if i do that it it'll almost fill them up yeah which is good enough doesn't need to be 100 do 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 Okay. You know what? Here, let's do that, that, and that. No, that. There we go. And then we could do this and water. The chance of accidentally drinking dirty water doing this is really, really high. 100% all across the board. That's what I want to see. And then, there we go. Perfect. All right, now. <laughs> we don't want to forget about this. Oh man, I'm gonna have to remember in the next one that, that I've got this going on, don't I? Aren't I? And then we'll eat you. Okay, so. Oh, that's the max stamina thing that he was talking about. Um, essentially what happens is uh, it's at my max, my stamina is at 125. And uh, if I, because it peaks at 125, if I do anything re that reduces your max stamina or your health, like, you don't eat as much as you should, or you use something, you hurt yourself a little bit. 
that'll drop and then it'll when next time you eat it goes back up again so it keeps going down and up and and doing that max thing again it's it's kind of annoying <laughs> so that's why he made that change to add um it does some even though it's 125 it does some progress into 125 and so so that it has somewhere to go when you add extra and that way you can drop and you can go up and down within this little bar here, right? So there you go. That's what that was all about. Um, let's go back upstairs and take a look in daylight. It got dark before I could finish. And we'll have to remember about the tomato soup. Yeah, what are we going to do about this business? Uh, the one of the things I could do, as I say, is I could put uh, the. Let's just do. You know what? It's gonna cut. I might not use it, but let's just do the uh, the the half wood wall, and uh, let's see what it does when we. Oh. Well, hello, moose. <laughs> I'm not gonna go get you because my my fridge is full. But, uh, and we don't really need moose right now. We don't need the sinew. We don't need... We're, we're pretty well full up on moose-related materials. Uh, so we're good. We're good on that. Now, if I wanted to... If I wanted to ha have it come in here, for example. Or... Yeah, let's say right here. Like that. And then what we could do is we could have the... Uh, we could have this right here like that I know this doesn't make a lot of sense yet but it'll make sense it'll make sense and then we'll grab this and then we can put this right there and then we take are we safe okay and then we take our ramp and we put it here That's a much better entrance, isn't it? Into the into the top. Uh, and then, like, I could do something like that, but it could be backed on to, yeah, you know what? This might actually be better. I could even move it over a little bit. If we take the, um, the, the, these little stairs here, and we could put them back over, I don't know, we could just put them there for now. And, uh, that can float in the air, by the way. We don't have gravity in subsistence land. <laughs> uh, this can go here, like that. And then the, uh, garage door. Can go here. Like this. Yeah. I think that, uh, and then essentially, I, I build out uh, here, and then we can do, I don't know. I could do, a, you know, I could do another ramp. I, it doesn't, the, the, you know, the, oh, it's a foundation. Oh. It's not too ugly, though. That's actually, it looks like it's sort of going down into the rock. That's kind of nice. But uh, then essentially what I could do is I could have a... Uh, uh, I mean, some sort of stairs that go up there, but yeah, I don't really like my choices for that. Yeah, and I don't want to put in the wood foundation stairs because then what hap would happen is uh, the legs would poke down into my base down here, and I don't want to see that, so you get the idea. We've got some possibilities here that we can work with. Uh, regardless, I'm going to need probably, you know, no matter what I need, I'm going to need to make another uh, wood ceiling. So I'll make another one just for, to have the four. And uh, we'll go from there. And then we just have to figure out how we're going to deal with uh, this half height and being able to get up and down. You can do things like uh, uh, use a ceiling piece to do that. And then up. you can't upgrade it, though. That's the problem. 
I don't think you can, at least. That hasn't changed, has it? And then there's, there's your vehicle bay here. And then... I think this is a better location. I just... Because it's got a nice open uh, entryway. You know, you just come along and right through here and... And then you're in and that's it. It's just a matter of getting from here into here. In a graceful way. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> of course I have to work all this business out. Like I would enclose this fully. I would have this, uh, I'd have little half walls all the way around uh, to wrap this little section here. I'll cut, there's some things we could do. In fact, I could probably bring this out to back all the way here and make a nice open um, uh, garage and uh, all of that sort of business. Regardless, uh, I think that this is a. Uh, I think is this release has some interesting uh, possibilities, and uh, I'm kind of interested in it. I'm 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 really happy, and it gives us a lot of stuff to do. We're gonna have to grind a lot of materials. Uh, we're gonna be going into the lava cave in the next few days. We're gonna be well, probably more than once. Um, all kinds of stuff. So I look forward to it. All right. Well, hello, bear. <laughs> I think this is a good place to stop. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.